here in the engine compartment, making sure that we've had a good service on the engine over the winter. From the top of the engine, we're looking at the air intake, um, making sure we've changed the oil filters, check the uh, oil level in the engine and then in the gearbox. Need to look at the um, drive shaft, make sure that's connected and uh, secure into the bottom of the boat and that the propeller's nicely uh, lubricated and fitted into the um, drive shaft. We then have the linkages that we need to just double check through, the um, exhaust fume uh, conduit throughout to the back of the boat, uh, the fuel line into the engine, uh, and then the, uh, the, the control linkages through to the uh, throttle and by the driving position up on deck. Following on from the engine compartment, we're now into looking at the battery. Connections from engine to battery, obviously very important to make sure they're clean, well uh, serviced. The level of acid in the battery, important that we can then make sure that's up to the required level and also that we have a good charge on the battery for when we first go on the water. Um, moving forwards, we then have the compartment with a fuel tank and then there's a fuel filter down here. Further up into the fuel tank we have the sensor for the depth of fuel in the tank and also the earthing to make sure that we don't end up with any static electricity issues. And over on the port side of the boat we have uh, the water tank which is um, quite good volume in this, in this boat. Obviously if we're doing offshore passages then we need to make sure that this is all well uh, sterilised and disinfected prior to going going away um, and then we've got a, a little sensor on here to also monitor the level of water inside the, the tank as well. Now we're sat at the navigation area then we need to double check all of our uh, instrumentation and that's everything from navigation lights all the way through to the instrumentation that we use up on deck for depth, speed, uh, compass etc. Um, back, to, back to the table we've got a VHF radio for all our communications uh, some boats also have a, a normal stereo radio. Um, we need to double check into our uh, GPS and then have that all backed up with paper charts so we know the entrance and exits to all of the harbours we'll be using and that all depends on tidal information and our read nautical almanac is the way that we, we know the tidal information for each harbour we go to and also for um, the year and each day during the year, so we know what times of the tide and the heights of the tide as well. The final safety feature that we need to focus on is the gas. Um, we obviously have gas for the stove and some boats have gas for a little heater. The gas cylinder needs to be outside in a self-draining locker so there's no chance of any, uh, any infiltration of gas inside the boat. <laughs>